The Gurkha Connection is a project for young people from three locations in Hart and Rushmore. So we've got a group from the Wavell School, we've got a group from the Farnborough Sixth Form College and we've got a group who are based at the West End Centre. In 2015 there was 200 years of service from the Gurkhas to the British Crown. So this community project is getting these young people from to take the lead and own um, a community exhibition and commemorative books. We've taken photos of and interviewed Gurkhas and ne the Nepalese community locally, which was really interesting because it's something I've n never really known anything about. Their current role in the community and their current role as soldiers as well. And I think finding out about that in a very human way you know, not from sort of lectures and slides, but from actual soldiers coming in and meeting members of the community has proved really valuable. The most surprising thing for me was how big a legacy the Gurkhas have and it, how much it's hidden. The fact that we are doing this project is really rewarding and knowing that it will build a bigger connection between the two communities is fantastic. I got to learn about all these different cultures that I've never learned about before. They're gaining a number of key skills, for example, um, photographic. They're also learning research skills. So that's really important to understand who the Gurkhas are. We've done a workshop with one of the curators at the British Museum which was really useful in helping us with how to put together our exhibition. Yeah, we, we learned how to like analyse pictures and like what that impacted on us and like what emotion we got. We learned photography as well. Oh, we got to use um, Adobe Photoshop which is really cool. My grandfather, 1st Second Corps, my same regiment, and my father, 4th Regiment, and my 1st Regiment, and my brother, and my son, 4th generation in the British Army. I think every male um, generation of my family was a Gurkha, and I guess I just got the inspiration of that. Most of the people, maybe, um, especially younger gener generation, they don't know about the history of the Gurkhas. They're quite like fearless, but they're also quite friendly at the same time, and they're they're willing to like talk about their life story with you. We've had comments from members of the local Nepali community about saying that it's really making an impact in the local area. They're getting very excited and they're hearing about the project. It is really important, actually. Uh, it, it shouldn't be only. Uh, I mean, if we want to clap, we can't clap with the one hand. It has to be two hands. I think when we see the final exhibition it will be really rewarding because I've never been involved in a project this big so my voice was input into that will make will instill a new confidence in me that I'll take into the future. I like it really well because it's helping me boost my confidence up and learn more about the Gurkhas and the British Army and the connection between them. I've seen who have started at the beginning of the project perhaps were a little bit quiet and they've really come to the forefront now. And They've grown into themselves, they've grown in confidence when it comes to interviewing people, when it comes to the photography, to watch their development and how they've grown. It's been really impressive actually, I've really enjoyed it. So their enthusiasm is amazing, it's been great working with them. All of them have produced a different work and all of them have produced a, a body of work that they should be very proud of. I've learnt new things and I've met new people and it's really fun. I would definitely recommend it just because it's so interesting. Yeah, I like this. I like this project that I'm on. Doesn't matter if you don't know the people in your group, you make friends with them because it's really cool to work as a group and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, once in a lifetime experience. Mm -hmm.